Hey everybody, David Fine here from Watch Your Lip. We are upgrading our 16 foot J16 Carolina skiff and we just built a center console box. We put rod holders on, we did all kinds of fun stuff with this thing. We've got a GPS, we've got all of our electronics all rewired, everything done, and it's beautiful. Now, we're building the live well. We're putting one in and we're turning it into a seat as well because our boat is small and every inch of this boat counts. Uh, we gotta make it, um, we gotta use our creativity and we're putting a live well in and we are gonna make it happen. Bob Stull, my buddy, Dolphin Bob's coming over. He's gonna help me install it and uh, we are going to uh, have some fun. We're gonna keep our bait alive and we're gonna go catch some fish. Uh, let's get to the video. All right guys, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna test out and see just how this live well works. Before I go ahead and install it and make it permanent, because we're actually gonna bolt the sucker to the ground, I need to make sure, first of all, that the live well works because I bought it on offer up for 50 bucks. Came out of a boat. Some of the par parts are a little bit dry rotted. I, I replaced some things. We kind of ground out this drain. We gotta make sure this drain holds water. Before I go drilling this thing into my boat, making it permanent, putting 5200 on the bottom, I gotta make sure that the thing works. I got this pump was given to me and so it's a big pump I'm not sure if it's the right size it might be a little too big I just want to make sure that it's not so strong that it's like just flooding out the the uh, bait in the bait well so as we are gonna connect this hose here right there okay we are going to then connect it to the intake on the live well and then the next step is put, this will be the intake that's coming out the back of the transom. So I'm gonna put this down in the water like so. Intakes under the water. Now, when I flip the switch, we are gonna find out just how this pump works now this thing is locked shut, so it shouldn't be sucking anything yet. Guys, let's see what happens when we switch the live well switch. I think it's number four. Yes. Okay. You can hear the you can hear the pump going. No water's coming through. But now let's open up this latch. Let's see. All right, guys. Here it goes. Water's coming out here. It's been a long time since these jets have been used. Looks like they might be a little clogged, but making it happen. So far, my drain plug is holding. And once it gets filled up to this level, it should start spilling out over the top here. And that should be a good indication of how this thing is going to work. So far, all the fittings look good. There's a nice, strong, decent current in here. Everything looks really, really good. And literally, we're going to put this live well right there. And the outflow, we're going to drill a hole right here. And there's going to be a, an output right here coming out the side of the boat right here. And so when the live well fills up with water and spills out the side, it'll keep nice fresh water in our baits all the time. And this is what you need for baits like uh, fishing shad. If you're gonna fish shad, you need you know a bait system like this that's gonna have fresh water here. Here it goes, guys. Look at it, here we go. Water's coming right out the side. That's exactly what we want to happen right there, guys. Nice overfill. We're gonna see what kind of pressure this is coming out. Yeah, so I mean, there's a little bit of current in there. So, it's gonna be interesting to see. There's, I don't know how shiners do with current, but shad, I know they don't mind a little bit of current. But they definitely need fresh water. Pilchards, goggle eye, all those stuff, they need constant fresh water or they start to get 
get sick and die. Who thinks my live well is ready to install? Come on, baby. Everything's working. All systems go. Outflow's coming out. Ready to install. Here we go. Subscribe to our channel to see all the how-to on how we get this thing installed, along with all the other things like our GPS system, electronics, our, uh, our center console box, rod holders, all kinds of stuff. Subscribe to our channel. We're gonna show you how we transform this skiff from just a boat to a fishing machine. All right, guys, now for the live well. We marked out where the live well is gonna sit. Now we're just scuffing up the bottom. So when it's time to mount the live well, that part's already done. Now, for the bottom of the live well. Gonna stand that up a little bit. Get it all roughed up. Placement of the through hole. Brother Bob, you think we're gonna get this operational today? Uh, we're gonna attempt it, and uh, I believe so, as long as the rain <laughs> stays away. Yeah, that little rain cloud, man. Yeah. There's like 20% chance of rain, and all of a sudden, yeah. here it comes. I know, that's okay. We'll get yeah, this again here. If I can get it up higher, I will. 5,200, baby. Stuff don't mess around, huh, Bob? No, it don't. Still going <laughs> in here. You got to clean up the. Yep. The access. Clean this up when you're done. The thing is that you know this is so thin. You can take a, a round file. Yep. And kind of. You have to work it a little bit. Uh huh. It, you know what I mean, and you can and just do the fifty-two hundred to seal it in. Yeah. That's a big enough lip where that's a big that's a big lip to seal it. So. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty close, dude. Yeah, dude. We have some room to play with it, too. Look. Yep. Good. That's actually better. Sure thing. So let's do. You know, yeah, you know, it's not. That's not too far off. Yeah. What we'll do is we're gonna put 5200 in here. And the tape. They don't need tape here. Don't need tape there. Yeah. Just 5200. Keep it from the water coming in the boat here. Okay. And we're pretty close. So let's. Sweet. Uh, I think we need to cut this. Do you have a hacksaw or a I do. Saw? There's a hacksaw right there. Okay, we got 5,200. Ain't no water getting in there. That is part of the boat now. <laughs> Just gotta keep using lots of lots of paper towels. Lots of paper towels. <laughs> I got it on my fingers. Oh, geez. <laughs> so does acetone help with that? Yes. I have yeah, some there. Great, perfect. Yeah, it's right there. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna probably use that next. Okay. That looks pretty good, Dave. Yeah, dude. Looks tight here. I gotta clean the outside up. Yeah. Now, I've been I've been caulking forever. I'm a, I'm a, I like to paint. I'm a good painter. You're so, a painter, so huh? I'm a self-proclaimed good painter. <laughs> <laughs> Not everybody else thinks so. <laughs> I like to paint, and, you know. And I'm very. I'm like a perfectionist when it comes to okay. getting everything cleaned up and you know all the caulking done around the baseboards and you know the eaves, whatever I'm doing. And, so. Got and it. I'm always right, using yes. my fingers. Yeah, man. <laughs> if there's some on there at the end, just get some of that acetone. All right, putting it together. I went right together, didn't it? Yeah, it sure did. Bingo. Right in the center, Dave. Right in the center there. Looks pretty straight here too. 
Yeah. Um, I can go ahead and tighten this up. Tighten them. Yeah. All right. Good. Bob, is that the magic spot? I think so, man. It's looking okay. good. Think After good. some uh, hose here, part adjustment. Good. Yeah. I think so. Let's do it, man. And we'll have this hose come over. We'll, we'll have it just run around the side. Okay. For now. We forgot the hose. Okay. Yep. Sweet. There, there it goes, huh? <laughs> X marks the spot. X marks the spot. And look how that went right through. There goes the hole. Holes in boats. Holes in boats. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you understand my stress. Holes in boats. Will a cement bit go through fiberglass? We will find out. <laughs> I think it went through, Bob. Oh, yeah. Yep. There it is. There it goes. Here we go. All right, guys, this is the first time I'm ever going to put a hole in the bottom of my boat, guys. Bob's making me do this. I think it's for moral. Support. Do I gotta put that little bit in there? Yeah, we'll get, All right. get it spinning. Hold it up. Yeah, get it spinning. There's phase one. <laughs> that feels so weird. How far can you go? Okay. Right there. I'm gonna stop it. Yeah, so let's see what's in there. Should I stop it? bunch of foam in there right yeah. all right so guys what's inside of a carolina skiff hull a whole bunch of foam so now it's time to do the bottom same thing huh yeah all right here we go all right guys how crazy it is to put a hole in the bottom of your boat here we go right through the hole good so this guy just goes in in there like this in there like swimwear baby does it Here, I need this is the stuff that's going to keep me from sinking <laughs> probably the pittock bro huh probably the pittock <laughs> <laughs> that's funny Oh man. There we go. All right. I'm up. All right, no touching the white stuff. Okay. Are you ready? I got it. You got it. Actually, hold it. Can you hold it? I can hold it. I can hold it. Got it? I'm holding it. Okay. I'm holding it and I'm trying not to touch the white stuff. There's still a hole through my boat. Somehow it'll work out, guys. Okay, don't get 5200 on my iPhone. Woo! I think I put too much. Too much 5200? No such thing, not when it's on the bottom of my boat. Oh, yeah, it's true. Oh, yeah, it's. Oh. Yeah. All right. Okay, it's... What's the bottom look like? Uh, it's not moving. All right. Well, you can 5,200 the daylights out of that for all I care. Yeah. No, we're good. We're good. Yeah. She'll still so good. Mm. That's it. That. Okay. Golden. 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 
After a trip to West Marine and they didn't have what we needed, we needed a longer fitting to get through the bottom of the boat. Yep. And then we went over to Boat Owners Warehouse and were able to get the, what is it, like a five inch, three quarter? This is a three quarter yeah. inch yeah. brass fitting that goes through. It's a, a five inch, five inches long. So it went right through the bottom of our hole and up through the top. And All right. We're going to put a pickup on the bottom. Okay, Bob, explain what this does. So uh, when, when, uh, when the boat is uh, driving at a whatever speed, it doesn't matter, five miles or 50 miles an hour, uh, the water comes into this. Yeah. And it'll, it picks up the water. It's, this it, is basically called a pickup. Okay. And it'll pick up the water, and, and with the pump running, it'll... It'll and it sends it to the sends the it to the live well. To the live well. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Which goes underneath here. It goes right on top. Literally, guys, goes right on top of there. But we might need to clean this up a little yeah, bit because there's 5,200. All right. Okay. Here we go with the the installation of the pitock is in. It was Teflon threaded on the bottom, and then uh, we're about to do the. Put the pump on. We have a Bait Sentry 800 Sureflow. I uh, got the Teflon tape on that. And then after that, we put the uh, we go ahead and run the hose to the live well. It should work out good. Just went to pick up the Bob kids from here. school. Bob is still here, and I'll bet brother Bob is finished. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna back in like a man real quick. Excuse me. All right. Let's see what progress Bob has made. Okay, Bob. How are we doing? How are we doing, Bob? He's excited. He wants to see. Okay. What do you think, dude? Wow. She's hooked up. She's hooked up, hooked up. She is hooked up, hooked up. Yeah. Ready to rock and roll. We are. Bob. Love it. Do you get to wire it? Yeah, I'll go, get, I'll go wire it. Brother Bob, I just want to say a big, oh, whoops. Anyway, a big thank you, bro. Yeah, man. Helping get it hooked up. Yeah. Guys, check it out. So, live well is set. The hose is connected. I got to work on making this kind of tight with the wiring and such, but this bilge pump, is connected to a shutoff valve so you know we shut it off and we're not using it when we're ready to use the live well we open it and then run the pump so uh water's not coming in the boat but i do have to reconnect the wires not a big deal but i'm going to show you real quick what the scoop is all right so this is the pickup as you're running water comes in through these gaps up the cup and into the hole that feeds the live well while you're running and it looks like we are good to go i can't wait to get these wires hooked up and get her going unbelievable man got it done and hopefully west marine will take this back because i don't need it <laughs> all right now with our live well pump installed last step is to reconnect the wires i had connected them without realizing that we were gonna have to twist that thing. So I had to disconnect them. Now I need to reconnect them, which is a little bit of a challenge because this box is not very, doesn't have a whole lot of space to work in. So I gotta run them through here, connect them, then we'll make them look pretty and we'll test it out. Let's check it out. Connect the negative to our bus bar. And now it's time for the positive wire. Where are you at? There you are. Now it's time for the positive wire. We gotta make sure we connect it to the right terminal back here. That should do it. Okay, moment of truth, guys. 
let's see. <clears throat> Make sure that this is plugged in. All right. Guys, moment of truth. Will the bait pump work? Yes! It works! Oh, glory! Glory! Awesome. All right. All right, guys. We are going to test, test out our live well for the very first time. Lorenzo, let's see what happens when you flip that switch, buddy. Three, two, one, go. Is it? Yes. Oh, nice. Live well works, guys. Come on, dude. What do you think, bud? That's nice. Yeah? That's really nice. Well, do you want to... Uh, put the shine shines in there? I think we should put the shiners in there. What do you think? I think we should. Here, go ahead. Here, wait. Like, where's the dip pan? Dump them. Sure. Yeah. Here, let me get this out for you. Come on. Dump them in, bro. Dump them shiny. Okay. Look at that. That's what we're talking about, guys. I like that. I think that's very nice. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we'll show you some field testing very, very soon on our video as we will frequently use this live well. Uh, Dolphin Bob, special thanks to you, buddy. Thanks so much for being a buddy and a friend and being willing to come and help out. Uh, guys, God bless. Take care, and let's get creative. Bye now.